Michael, thank you so much. Now, in today's Crime Stopper Spotlight, this is going to be one of the final times that we meet with you guys before yes. the Christmas holiday. So we wanted to talk with Stacy Payne, our expert, of course. Thank you for being here. Thank you. About protecting, okay, our presence, our home, a little bit of everything. Kind of go over some safety tips in terms of how to keep the stuff that's inside your gifts, your homes, your valuables safe, especially this time of year. Well, you know, sometimes it's hard. We decorate our homes and we have that tree looking nice and the gifts looking nice underneath the tree. And then we leave our blinds or our, our right. everything wide open so folks can drive by and see what we have inside right so sometimes it might take a few extra moments close the curtains close the blinds protect what you have inside from being visible outside but also once you wrap, you know tear off those gift wrap paper and, and you're ready to have that that's wonderful like, new TV that's or, step two step two don't put the large box outside advertising what you just received. So taking us through, you know, maybe your holiday morning, your holiday gathering, okay, you want to protect the gifts under the tree, make sure they're not visible, then it comes to the garbage. Um, you don't want these giant, again, TV boxes, such a great example, sitting right next to your trash, it just lets people know that you got a new TV inside. Right, and what you might want to do instead is, it, you still want to throw it away, but take that knife, cut it up, make it a little bit smaller so you can put it in a bag. It may take a few extra moments, but it sure does beat having your home broken into and your brand new TV or whatever it may be stolen. Well, and I'm not trying to quiz you here, Stacey, but I'm going to put you on the spot okay. a little bit. I mean, people do drive around looking for those things, right? They do. They do. I mean, you know, we all have jobs. You, you come into the studio. I go to the Crime Stoppers. It might be their job that day. Their job may be to drive around and see where do they want to hit it could be not you know maybe not that day but in a couple of days when they know you've gone back to work the house is empty they're going to strike when you're trying to get back to normal get back to your hustle a little bit they're going to be doing a different type of hustle trying to look through the trash certainly certainly so again just take a couple of extra precautions. Yeah, and on top of that, okay, that's kind of the physical outside of your house. Then we got the digital world. You got to be careful what you post on social media. Well, again, we were, you and I were just talking before we started about <laughs> traveling and so yeah. forth. But if you're posting that on your social media sites, again, those criminals are watching out and you never know, though you might have a private, somebody you know, a friend may share it and their site may not be private. Okay. So again, be careful. Talk about your trip after you come back. <laughs> Post pictures after you come back, but don't talk about it there. Same thing with those neat, cool gifts that you get or your kids have received. Again, maybe uh, shy away from it. Uh, yeah, Do the maybe later gram when it, it comes to a get to a trip and maybe gifts just try not to publicize it too much. Exactly. Hey, they had a great Christmas. They really enjoyed their gifts and leave it at that. Awesome. Stacy, thank you so much for being here today. Have thank a great you. holiday, of course. And guys, we're going to share all this information online on our social media pages. Stick with us. We're going to be back with a final look at weather.